<clears throat> peace to all Israelites abroad and at home. Um, and all praises to the Most High, I am, and His Son Christ. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the spiritual world. Um, I'm not going to tell you uh, which book it's in. I'm not going to go into detail on this book. Hopefully I can make videos in the near future uh, of me reading this book, showing you what the spiritual world consists of, what it's like, how it looks, well, not how it looks, but what's the protocols or the order of the spiritual world. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. First, uh, in the scriptures, there's two different gods that speak to Israel. Um, one is the ruler of darkness, and the other is the son of the ruler of light. Now, the ruler of the light created everything from darkness and light, and everything in the light was created by him. Everything in the darkness was created by the one that went into the darkness. He came from the light, but he was aborted into the darkness. Okay? He is what we call the devil, the adversary in the New Testament. Now, the one that is called the devil in the Old Testament, I would like to keep that one close to the chest. Because some people are not spiritually spiritual adults to understand that some things are not fully in detail description in the Old Testament, particularly Genesis, okay, or even Isaiah. There's other books as well, but you know those are just two off the top of the head. Um. The one of the darkness created us, okay? He created the flesh. He created the earth. He created everything in the earth to get praise, okay, that he's seen the father getting. He never let the father down. A lot of people don't, under, don't um, understand why Paul said the rulers of darkness is because he never uh, met the father. He never seen the father. He didn't even know that there was a light side to his darkness, to the darkness that he dwells in. So he created the angels that Michael, Gabriel, and all these others. And he is the one that created us. Now, when he created us, we wasn't animated. We couldn't, we wasn't moving. There was nothing going on. The father of light is the one that put his spirit within us. Okay. Once he did that, then we was able to move and all these other things. These just, this is, this, this is a story that is not told to people. Yes, Zeus exists. He is the father of darkness. Yes, Zeus came from the light side. Not because, not through the means of how the other gods were created. When I say the other gods, the people that are on the light side, which are humans, like us, were created by the father and they are called gods. They're not called angels. See? That's where people mix up with what Paul is talking about. He tells you a lot of stuff about the spiritual world, but people don't understand it because they haven't read this book. Now, why did Paul tell you that women are to have their head covered? It's because of the angels. Now, why did he say that if Genesis wasn't talking about the sons of the, the, the angels that followed the devil. People don't, you know, this is this is why he this is why Paul tells you 
if you are just pertaining to the just this the Bible and you can't di differentiate between the good and the evil throughout the scriptures, you're still a baby. You're still a baby. It's the same thing as if I tell you uh, 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 a stove is bad. Uh, if you tell a child a stove is bad, is, this, is that stove good or bad? No, not at all. But you tell a child that until it's old enough to understand why the stove is good and evil, which makes it obsolete in any category of the same. So, the flesh that we have is material matter, okay? The material matter is what is made up of in the cosmos of the universe that we live in. When I say these cosmos and universe, I'm not talking about planets and all this other extra stuff y'all think I'm talking about. I'm just talking about matter, trees, flesh, uh, grass, um, steel, gold, all this is within us, in our bodies, okay? Now, what happened is the spirit that is within us comes from the light side, from a particular person on the light side. They lost that light to their child, which is the devil, okay? Devil is just means adversary. It doesn't mean wicked or nothing. It doesn't mean none of that. So, we are just parts of that particular light, okay? And we, as a collective, must work together to move back into, into the light side. This is what Christ uh, motive was. This is why most people would say Christ is a devil, which, you know, it, it, it backs the, um, the previous things that if you understand the evil and good of the Old Testament. Um, uh, John chapter 1 explains to you what happened on the light side. Did not it does not it does not explain to you Genesis one and one. No, they're two different beginning. Genesis one and one is the beginning of us. Uh, John one and one is the beginning of the light side. So, this book also is Christ explaining to the apostles and his disciples the differences within the world and how we came to this being. Now, when we were created, Adam and Eve, we were smarter than the one that created us because the light side is based off of intellect. It's not based off of riches. This is why Job is very deep. Job is based off of those that worship the devil. He gets paid. That he gives you Whatever you want, if you follow him, the light side does not at all work like that. It does not, not even close. Everything on the light side is based off of intellect, knowledge, and wisdom. That is what the light side is based off of. Okay? Now, everything in the light side, I'm not going to go into that, but is different than what is created on the dark side. This, which is matter. Now, most people ask or think that the reason Adam fell was because of what he did, right? Which was what? The, him uh, um, uh, uh, following Eve, okay? The reason that that is right and wrong is because yes, he followed Eve, but Eve was told to do this by Christ. Yes, yes, I know people are gonna people are gonna <laughs> go go against me because it says that the serpent, but it, the serpent was actually Christ. It wasn't 
it, it wasn't the devil that you may think it was, okay? The reason that they flipped the story is because they had to make uh, the devil seem like he was righteous. This is based off of the world today. See, when you looking at it from the world today, they had to make the devil seem as a child of the light. So when they gave you the story, they was telling you, yo, we was created by this man, this man created us, and we went against this man. But they don't tell you why we went against this man. See, when you find out why we went against this man and why did the so-called serpent come and tell Eve to open up her eyes is because the devil was making us forget the things that we knew, which was that the spirit within us comes from the light, the flesh around the spirit and the soul is which comes from the darkness. Now the light and the darkness had mingled. This is something that was not supposed to happen, okay? It was not supposed to happen, but because of a particular God that was in the light side, did something, she didn't sin, but she realized her error in her ways, and she tried to correct it by waking us up to get the light out of our so-called fleshly father. That's why Paul gives you a distinction between the flesh and the spirit, because they have two different characteristics. That's why you should be able to read the scriptures. Like in Isaiah, I'll give you an example. In Isaiah, why would Christ, or why would, if it was about the light side, right? The spiritual world. Why did he say he hates our feast days? He hates our Sabbath. He hates everything that pertains to what is good or what we was given in the first five books. Why would he hate that if he's God? See, see, you don't, you, 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 you don't think of these things because we only follow what was told to us instead of studying and keep on searching for the Most High in Christ, the Most High and Christ, which was made by the Father. Okay, so once He made us, we stole His light. This is why He hates us. This is why He hates the nation of Israel, which came through. From Abraham, which came through Shem, which came through Seth. This is the royal line to Israel, which obtains and holds the light. That's why the rest of the nations hate us, because we obtain and hold the light. Now, when they're telling you in other nations from uh, India, from um, uh, China, from the Greeks, to the Egyptians, they're not lying. These gods are real. These gods are real. They're, they're the rulers of darkness. This is why you can't get them away from them. Because those rulers of darkness, when you praise them, when you give them what they want, they bless your life. Just like Christ can do for us. But he is blessing our life in a total different way. He's giving something, giving us eternal life. Now, Another question that people don't ask is, why did Christ defeat death if Christ is the one that put death upon us? This is, this is the, the nonsense that people actually believe. This is why, well, it's not nonsense. It's the milk that people actually believe. I'm not going to say it's nonsense. The nonsense is that people don't take the time and go and research it for themselves and actually obtain what they learn from the most high because he's given us the information even through me he's giving y'all the information of the difference between the dark and the light this is in in um in the apocrypha it tell you that everything was made in twos what makes you think the spiritual world wasn't made in twos the ruler of darkness and the ruler of light okay so that's why christ is the heir of the earth because once he comes back, he takes over the dark side and he gives us something uh, better than the flesh that we're in that per, uh, is prone to sinning and doesn't give us the benefit 
the benefits of being on the light side. When then when after he does that, then we shall be only in the light. That's why the that's why in Revelations it says that the Son and the Father shall be the Son and the Moon because there won't be the need to for the stuff that we're in. Okay? Now um a lot of this is it sounds foreign, it sounds uh, way off of the scriptures. But if you actually think about good and evil and you put it in the aspect of what I've already have told you, uh, why would uh, omnipotent God put us in a prison of flesh only to just have to get out of it? It's because the omnipotent light didn't. <laughs> the great I am didn't put us in flesh. He only did that to get the light from the darkness. <laughs> yeah, so this is the spiritual world. This is the spiritual battle. This is what is above us. This is what was outside of us. This is the information that the world's gathered through the riches of us. Do you understand? When it says the riches, it's talking about the knowledge and the wisdom that we obtain from the Father. That's what that's talking about. It's not talking about money and silver and gold. Because what need do you need that for when the earth is abundant in itself? With trees, with water, with everything that you need. Food. Why would he need to give us that if it's already here? Okay? He's talking about the knowledge of who we are. They gain the riches of knowledge. Now, I know a lot of people are going to, you know, try to crucify me and say I'm way off. And I know a lot of you are going to actually adhere to this because you are the children of the light. And Christ is the son of the light. And he, this is what he came to reveal to us. That, yes, you have been bamboozled. All of this is an illusion. You're always changing kings. You're always changing. Everything changes around you. Everything that changes around you is an illusion. Something that is real stays real forever and ever. It never changes. Something that is true. So something that is an illusion is only set there to, uh, to contort and to disfigure what the truth is. That's what a lie is. So the reason that I get so upset and I made a lot of the Hebrew Israelites coming together is because the light wants that. Because that's what brings us back into the light. And that's what brings back the Father. That's what brings back the, the truth. And the devil knows this, man. You never wondered these questions? Like... Why would the devil that's been in the Father's presence go against him? Why would the devil uh, continually prosecu uh, uh, prosecute us? <laughs> I know this is what y'all gonna say. Oh, well, in Revelation, it says the, the, the serpent, the devil, that it was talking about in the beginning, but it wasn't talking about Christ. It was talking about the one that created us. But because people lack understanding of these things, they don't know who Revel uh, um, John the Revelator was referring to. Because he had to, he, they had to put this, th listen, the scriptures have to be, had to be in a particular way so that it could get down to the future, which is us. So when they're talking about Horus and all these gay gods and the hermaphrodite gods and Zeus and Poseidon, these these <laughs> these gods are real. Oh, they're one hundred percent real, and they are the rulers of darkness. That's why I tell you that uh, in Zeus, that Zeus bound the, the Titans, the the ones that he came from, his father, but he didn't. He didn't. He's the one that got bound bounded that's why a lot of us don't know what's really happening in the world we think it's just uh there's one omnipotent god and he loves everybody and and he, 
he created us and you just need to follow and love him but there's a lot more to this story and in the spiritual world it explained that the, the whole spiritual world is different and, and this book explains all how all the rest of the nations got their religions this book that I have acquired it explains how Israel was amongst these nations teaching these nations and they took it and evolved their religion based off of those prophets that went in those lands but they was only teaching their own people they wasn't teaching the world but just like how it is